Hello weather nerds, I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. You're interested in weather, so we're going to cover that in the next three, three and a half minutes. Meanwhile, don't forget to tell your friends about CMY Weathertainment, and tell them to follow me at CMY Jeff Matthews on the social media, specifically on Twitter. Temp trend is at 60 for the average, but don't forget it's going down every few days, another degree. Same for the lows, which are now down to sub 40. Meanwhile, we'll be above it for the next three afternoons, then a drop-off, and then it warms up on Friday, and then a drop-off for next weekend. So we're kind of chasing the average for this time of year. Hey, Joaquin, think of the past. Don't have to worry about it. Meanwhile, the small shells in temperature drop coming every three or four days or so. Meanwhile, no rain until Friday. Don't have to worry about that because jet stream position, which by the way should look familiar because it looked this way about eight or ten days ago, driving southwards across the west coast and then driving northeastwards to our west into eastern Canada. You can see most of the action is pretty close to it. Cutoff low continues to bring heavy inundating rains to the Carolinas, not good for them. But that's just going to continue to meander and eventually move off the coast and away. And since the jet stream for us is to our north and west, it means two things. Most of the action goes that way and allows warmer temperatures to keep infiltrating the eastern seaboard. So you see a lot of cloudiness related to old frontal boundaries and Joaquin, but it's really not a great concern to me because there's not a lot of moisture inside those clouds. Joaquin going through the western Atlantic, that drier air that moved in over top of it, keeping us dry today and tomorrow, but not totally cloud-free because there are clouds in almost every direction. So be aware of that. But the clouds are not moisture-laden. On the infrared imagery, you see a lot of white, but just thin strips of blue here and there. So it's not deep moisture except for the Carolinas and Joaquin. Now this is from Friday. Here's that high that moved in over to the north of the hurricane and drove in the warmer and dry air, or at least tropical type air, for yesterday and for today and tomorrow. But since there are clouds in every direction for us, we can't keep it totally sunny out there. Meanwhile, here's your almanac. 54 and 38 was my forecast for Saturday. It turned out 56, 38. And then I went 60 and 44 for Sunday, and it turned out 62 and 47. We lost nine minutes of daylight over the weekend, and we'll lose three more today. Your forecast is next. Welcome to Intermission. <laughs> So the question is, can he finish before the music finishes off? Yes, he can. Partly sunny for this afternoon and mild, but no more than that. High of 65. Scattered frost tonight, partly cloudy, low of 40. Tomorrow, get your kicks on Route 66. Partly sunny, 66 the high temperature. And then, after two partly sunny days, totally sunny on Wednesday and Thursday. Next chance for rain on Friday. And the Saturday looks like the brighter of the two weekend days to come. That's your forecast. Music's done. Have a great afternoon.